Google keeps improving Notebook LM, and I can't believe all the smart, new, and completely free features they're introducing. This video will focus on 10 powerful and practical ways you can put it to use in your work and home life. Let's go. This one is huge if you do anything with Google Drive. You can now discover resources, not just from the web, but from Google Drive. So I create an ebook for every single video that I create. These are all instantly available to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's a link in the description to that. But one thing I'm always looking for, a prompt from a past ebook that I've created, and I can now use Google Drive to quickly pinpoint these. So you can do something like this, asking you to please find resources with BZ in the file name. All of my ebooks have that in the file name related to building software. And here are all of of my ebooks related to building software. I'm gonna import these. Then I can simply ask, what are a few good prompts for understanding my customers? And here it is, pulling in all of my best prompts from all of these ebooks for understanding customers if you're trying to build a software service. But now I'm just curious, this mind map feature's been around for a while. I wanna see what a mind map looks like of all of this work. So there it is, a beautiful mind map based on all of my documentation for building software. Of course, you can click in all the different steps. Super cool. Another one I've gotten a lot of miles out of recently is using it to learn skills. One skill I'm trying to learn is Adobe Premiere, so I'm just asking it to please find advanced tutorials on Adobe Premiere for editing. I'm gonna import those. I'm getting very specific, so I'm gonna ask it again for advanced tutorials on Adobe Premiere for color grading. I'm gonna Import those. And finally, I'm gonna ask it for advanced tutorials on hacks, tips, and tricks with Adobe Premiere. And now that I've got a bunch of highly tactical resources loaded in here, I'm going straight to this video overview. And here's the kicker. This is a magic prompt that I really love based on Tim Ferriss's approach to learning any skill fast. We're basically gonna generate this video overview focusing on deconstructing these skills, selecting which ones are the most critical, establishing the most effective order in which to learn them, compressing and summarizing and simplifying down the most important 20%, and then encoding that information into acronyms and metaphors to make it easy to understand. I love this ability to steer these overviews to get exactly what I want. All right, let's talk about Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to focus on the 80-20 rule. I call it the OACE workflow. It stands for organize, assemble, calibrate, and export. Let's dive in. The first and, you know, arguably the most important step is organization. So what does that prep actually look like? Well, it looks like this. A clean, simple, repeatable folder structure. Let the computer get you in the ballpark. Then you really only need to adjust two sliders. The temperature slider to fix your white balance and make the colors look natural, and the exposure slider to make sure it's not too dark or too bright. Seriously, those two sliders will solve 80% of your color problems right there. This came out really sweet, incredibly actionable, exactly what I needed. Now let me show you how to back up everything that you create with instant authority. I'm gonna grab this prompt right here, and I'm gonna look for peer-reviewed studies, industry reports, and expert opinions on, let's just say investing, from the last two years. I'm gonna submit that, import all of these, and now this follow-up prompt, which just says which sources would add the most credibility to my argument about, and I'm just gonna put in there buying gold in favor of buying gold as an investment strategy. And while that's cooking, I'm just gonna grab this other prompt to generate a list of quotable stats for what I'm working on. And now I'm gonna save this to a note and save that note as a source, convert it to a source. Same thing with the last one, save as a note, convert to a source. And then I'm gonna deselect everything but the two sources that we just created. And I'm gonna create an audio podcast about those to maybe persuade somebody <laughs> that this is the right way to go. And I love that you can now create many different audio and video overviews. We're gonna get into exactly how to best use those in a second, but this can make for great proposal power-ups if you are looking to add some credibility uh, to any proposal or sales pitch that you're making. Uh, you can go out and look for evidence stats that support that, which go a lot farther than you just saying, uh, you know, this is what you believe. You can now use Notebook LM to transform your onboarding process, whether you're onboarding clients or employees into a true experience. I'm grabbing this prompt. We'll search my internal drive for my service descriptions, onboarding documents, FAQs, and client success stories. Then I can use this prompt to create a warm conversational video that explains my services and sets expectations. Dropping that right here into the video generation 
portion of Notebook LM, and we can fire that off to roll out the red carpet to the new client or employee that we're gonna be working with. I'm notoriously bad at anniversaries. You can just ask Miss Blazing Zebra about that. So I've begun squirreling away some of my journal entries about meaningful moments that have happened throughout the year. So I've just realized I can copy and paste all of these journal entries of the past year and create a really awesome podcast episode of remembering all of this stuff here. Here are a bunch of fun ideas for how you can structure this anniversary podcast. You can tell Notebook LM to play the roles of warm, witty relationship experts, or you know, one host who is a romantic historian, or use them to create a romantic documentary style presentation. Now I probably wouldn't use the video creation tool for this because it creates kind of a business uh, deck. What I do instead is use Descript to cut in a bunch of photos that I could upload from my phone. I've got a whole video all about that. I'll link to that right now. I've got a few other ways you can use this in your home life coming right up, but while we're on the subject of formatting these podcasts, I wanna show you this pitch practice partner. This will really ensure that you're capable of giving very powerful pitches or presentations going forward. What you want to do is to hop over to Gemini and drop in your deck along with this prompt. What are the toughest objections a skeptical investor or client might raise? Be brutal. Then we can ask what are the best counter arguments to these points. Then we're going to load all of this up into Notebook LM, the deck, the objections there, and the counter arguments. Then in the audio overview, we're going to select debate. And I'm grabbing these instructions, saying one host is trying to sell the other who is a very skeptical customer, raising brutal objections that the seller host must overcome. And then you can just sit back and listen to how an expert salesperson would battle it out with a uh, highly skeptical client. I find several of them claims to be, well, highly problematic and frankly, unrealistic. The promise of a 25% profit increase or more in just 28 days for any business of significant size isn't just monumental, it's critically unsubstantiated. That 25% represents the very real potential when you move from confusion and overwhelm to focused, automated, and scalable solutions built on these exact principles. All right, next up, the personal brand consistency auditor. This is a really cool way to make sure that your personal brand is aligned. What you want to do is load up a notebook with information about your blog posts, about your social media, your LinkedIn. You can discover, you know, internal stuff on your Google Drive and even look on the web for what people are saying about you. Load all of that stuff in and then you can use a prompt like this to identify unique phrases, recurring themes and where messaging contradicts itself to try to find your true brand brand essence. Dropping that in here. And this gives you sort of a 360 look at your brand. Uh, you know, the McKinsey style consulting reports that I talk a lot about, data-driven insights, very cool stuff. Recurring themes, and this is nice. No direct contradictions were found within this messaging. True brand essence is to empower marketers, entrepreneurs, and business professionals to achieve high impact, strategic results, and strategically boost efficiency. Very good. You could even download best practice for different social media platforms and how to keep your brand aligned and create a different notebook for these specific use cases so you can track your voice consistency and look for ways to improve and optimize. This can be one where that briefing document is super helpful to give you an idea of you know where your brand voice is breaking down and how to fix those inconsistencies. Next up is the Competitive Intelligence Command Center. You want to grab this prompt to find pricing pages, case studies, testimonials, and recent announcements from your top five competitors. So I'm grabbing that prompt along with some competitors, submitting this, importing those, following up with this analysis prompt about pricing psychology, value propositions, and offerings. This is super helpful to see some of the pricing strategies of other people's offers in my space. I highly recommend you try something like this. And what I'm gonna do with this one, I, you know, you might be tempted to do a video overview, but those are fairly short where I want more of a deep dive on this 
and I want this to be a war room briefing. That basically means you want it to be short, concise, punchy, and action oriented. And this, this might be a really cool place to generate a timeline as well. This is really cool. It shows when these folks um, began their offers and how they began their careers and how those have evolved. Very interesting. You can do some similar things by creating notebooks for your different client avatars, customer avatars by pulling in Reddit threads related to your customer avatar, social media posts, etc. Even YouTube comments, pulling those in using the discover feature, analyzing these for common phrases, pain points, emotional triggers, and generating these, you know, day in the life podcasts of what it's like for each of those, uh, you know, ideal customer profiles. You can do what I call the knowledge arbitrage machine. So look at industries that are just one or two steps removed from what you do and analyze those looking at different case studies, success stories, et cetera, and try to see how you can uh, apply those to your industry. But now I wanna shift into the really powerful new feature, the ability to share your notebook just like you would share any sort of document out there. Quick story about this, I found this feature really, really helpful while planning a camping trip that went awry where there was many, many people involved, many moving pieces. I just started dumping all the information into a notebook, LM notebook, and you can set this up so that they can view the full notebook, including all the sources in the notes, or if you wanna set it up where they can just chat with it, it's gonna be incredibly useful for any event, such as a wedding, you know? People are always asking questions about a wedding. This could be the ultimate FAQ, ultimate easy to build chat bot for any sort of event or uh, trip or you know company outing where there's a ton of different people involved. You can use this for your work portfolio. So loading up all of your different case studies, all the different information about you and just telling your you know prospective customers, you can give a link to it on your website saying, hey, chat with this, ask Ask it questions, you know, if you want to know more information, way better than an FAQ. And you know, the, the really cool thing about Notebook LM is it is grounded in those, uh, you know, sources that you put in there. Unlike other chatbot models where it might be using some of the training data, you might be getting certain things wrong. Notebook LM is going to be much better at giving accurate information than some of the other chatbot solutions out there. I've got 10 more use cases just around that in the cheat sheet. This includes client education hubs, affiliate resource centers, if you have any partners or affiliates, family medical history notebooks. So keeping all of your family medical history in one place where it's easy for anybody to access. I really went to town on this cheat sheet. There are over 20 pages of information, all expanding on what we've gone over today, including all those different ways to use the shared notebooks. That ebook and over 150 others are all instantly available to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's a link in the description. I've got some coaching options in there as well. But if you're as excited as I am about all these Google tools, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video I created all about Google's AI studios. There's a link right there. I will see you in that video. Make the dreams come true.